Well, good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday morning. Saturday morning, my uh, daughter Elizabeth. This is her. Uh, her, her son turns uh, a year, a year old. Elias, Elias Legend. <laughs> yeah, he's just starting to walk good. So, uh, yeah, today's today's the day to go to. We're going to go out and and go to her, uh, Elizabeth and Zach's place. Uh, I said, now come out early. Well, you know, they're early and my early is two different things. It always has been. You know, when your kids, uh, when you're working, you get up early. I used to get up at four o'clock and uh, every day, you know, I had to be work at six. So I'd get up at four and get around. I, I drove an hour to work <clears throat> and uh, Drove an hour in to work to air gas. Well, it started out to been PG Walker Company, and they sold out and air gas, and they sold out to uh, air products, and they sold out to air gas, and they sold out to uh, BOC, I believe it was, uh, gas company out in, I don't know where, but anyway, they sold out again. But, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I've done that. So early for kids is one thing, you know. <laughs> and the early for us is, uh, for me anyway, is something else. Uh, right now it's 3 o'clock. It's, it's quarter to 3 here in the morning. So, uh, you know, 7.30s. That's going to be later in the morning. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I worked, uh, I worked two jobs for several years it was eight nine years i go in at four and get home at 11 or midnight <clears throat> and uh, done that for a long time my wife raised uh stayed home she was a stay-at-home mom and the only way she'd do that is i worked and uh, i worked until i couldn't work anymore and and uh, anyway it's <laughs> here i am you know i'm home now so, uh, I was looking at 2 Timothy 1, 9. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the words uh, time, Ionian, or uh, before the disruption of the world, designated beforehand, uh, Ionian life, you know, those kind of words. Well, I never heard them before. Uh, the only place I got those was in the, uh, when I started looking through Paul's uh, evangels through the 13 letters of Paul's and uh, using the concordant uh, literal translation and I never heard words like them so uh, you know when you when you see things like that it's, it really <laughs> it's, it really puts it in a different setting because uh, the other other uh, books will use uh, forever and ever or everlasting or uh well, everlasting <clears throat> forever and ever and uh something else everlasting everlasting so you know that's a mistranslation because you know something can't go on everlasting and it'd be for just a period of time but anyway <laughs> here's uh here's what i looked up and and uh i enjoy doing this and i appreciate y'all commenting and and uh, hanging with me because this is pretty neat. <clears throat> Second Timothy one nine, and then on as as it relates to that scripture. Who saves us and calls us with a holy calling, not in accord with our acts, but in accord with His own purpose and the grace which is given to us in Christ Jesus before times the onion. For the word of the cross is stupidity, indeed, to those who are perishing. Yet to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Uh, point here, the word perishing uh, actually means, uh, uh, the word perishing means, uh, get my mind straight, losing out, means losing out. And, uh, you know, all, we know that God eventually, all people will be, uh, restored and know the knowledge of the truth 
and uh, saved. All people will have salvation. Uh, Ephesians 2, 5 and on. <clears throat> we also, being dead to the offenses and the lust, vivifies us together in Christ. In grace are you saved. Yet when the kindness and fondness for humanity of our Savior, God, made its advent, not for works which are wrought in righteousness, which we do, but according to his mercy, he saves us through the bath of renaissance and renewal of Holy Spirit, which he pours out on us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, that being justified in that one's grace, we may be becoming enjoyers in expectation of the allotment of life eonian. Now we are aware that God is working all together for the good of those who who are loving God, who are called according to the purpose that whom he foreknew, he designates beforehand also to be conformed to the image of his son, for him to be firstborn among many brethren. Now whom he designates beforehand, these he calls also, and whom he calls, these he justifies also. Now whom he justifies, these he glorifies also. <laughs> Uh, it is that he should be also be making known the riches of his glory on vessels of mercy, which he makes ready before for glory, us, whom he calls also, not only out of the Jews, but out of the nations also. For God calls us, not for uncleanliness, but in holiness. Surely, in conscience, then, he who is reputating is not reputating man, but God, who gives the Holy Spirit to you. Because by works of law, no flesh at all shall be justified in his sight, for through law is the recognition of sin. For not as yet being born, nor putting into practice anything good or bad, that the purpose of God may be remaining as a choice, not out of acts, but of him. Who is calling. The, thus then in the current era also there has come to be a remnant according to the choice of grace. Now if it is in grace it is no longer out of works else the grace is coming to be no longer grace. Now if it's out of works it is no longer grace else the work is no longer work. For in grace through faith are you saved, and this is not out of you. It is God's approach present, not of works, lest anyone should be boasting, making known to us the secret of his will in accord with his delight, which is purposed in him. <laughs> in him, in whom our lot was cast, also being designated beforehand, according with the counsel of his will, that we should be for the lot of his glory, who are pre-expectant in the Christ. So that let no one be boasting in men, for all is yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or present or that which is impending, all is yours, yet you are Christ's, yet Christ is God's. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who blesses us with every spiritual blessing among the celestials in Christ, according as he chooses us in him before the disruption of the world, we to be holy and flawless in his sight, in expectation of life eonian, which God, who does not lie, promises before times eonian, now to him who is able to establish you in accord with my evangel <clears throat> and the heralding of Christ Jesus in accord with the revelation of his secret hushed in times eonian, yet manifested now and through prophetic scripture according to the injunction of the eonian God being made for known to all nations for faith obedience to the only and wise God through Christ Jesus be glory for the eons of the eons. Amen. 
<clears throat> or there's a, <laughs> you know, I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. Those words in there, the they're just they're just that much, you know. Uh, someone pointed out one time the word uh, and I ran it. I ended that up in Romans sixteen twenty five through twenty seven. And there's a uh, there's in there where it says according to the injunction of the Eonian God. Uh, <clears throat> I think let's look that up and see. But I believe in the King James that calls it something else. Let's see here. I believe in the King James. Uh, let's look this up. That was a point that someone pointed out and said, see, you can't translate those words. Uh, Romans 16. A guy told, uh, sent me an email one time where they said uh, the reconciliation, you know, uh, let's see, Romans 8. Looking at Romans 16. See how mine gets, I got, I got to focus or I'll get lost. Hang on. Romans 16. These uh, Bibles that you're not in every day, it's hard to find. Uh, 25 and 27. <clears throat> it calls it the everlasting God, okay? Uh, according to the commandment of the everlasting God, made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. Well, uh, this this is specifically talking about times, a period of time. You know, God is God has no time. There's no time. He injects Himself into our time, Eonian time, the time of the eons. He injects Himself in this time period, and that makes Him the Eonian God, also. Uh, we know that he has life unending. You know, that's that's a given. So uh, there's a word where they, where they everlasting is meant to be Eonian. You know, he's the God of this era also. So uh, anyway, there's something that I picked up a while back and and uh, it's good to know that. Good to know those words. So look them up, you know, uh, and uh, check things out. Uh, the scripture tells us to prove all things. Dad, my dad always told me, you prove everything. You prove it all through the scripture. Uh, don't go to quote something that you that you know you don't prove. You gotta prove everything in, in the Bible. So I've done that. I, it, I'll back it up. I don't spout nothing to, and then hope that somebody gets it. I want to back it up with scripture. So anyway, <laughs> it's going to be a good day. It's a good day. I hope it's warm today. I got up and built a fire, uh, throwed another log on the fire. Uh, send my carriers a song about put another log on the fire. Bring out the nice ah, some, but anyway, coffee should be done, and uh, it's time to get the day going. All right, hey, you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to y'all later.